In this Drupal Commerce 2.x demo, we'll go over adding new categories, also called taxonomy, for your products. Here you can see we're currently showing products within the men's category. Let's add a subcategory for hats. We'll start by going to the Structure Admin menu dropdown, then down to Taxonomy. We're now looking at a list of the current site's vocabularies. Vocabularies hold the taxonomy terms that are the product categories. We'll go to List Terms for the Product Categories vocabulary. Here we can see all of the category terms laid out in a tree. Indented items are subcategories. To add our new term, click the Add Term button. We'll start by giving our term a name, in this case, hats. We can ignore the description in this demo. Next, we'll look at the term's relations. In order to make our new term a subcategory, we need to select men as a parent term. We can leave the remaining fields as is and save our new term. As we can see via the success message, our new term has been saved. Let's now go to products so that we can assign our hat to this new category. We can find our hat in this list of products. Click Edit to open it for editing. We now just need to select our new category to which the product should now belong. I'll scroll down to our Categories section, then, holding Control so that we don't lose our selections, I'll click Hats. I can then scroll to the bottom and click Save. The update has been saved. Now go back to the site front end to view our results. We're back looking at our men's category, and we can see that there is a hat subcategory. If I select it, all of the products, except for our hat, are filtered out. Now, any additional hats that we place into this subcategory will be displayed with this category filter. This completes our taxonomy categories demo. As you can see, Categories are easy to manage in order to organize your store products. Our demo site uses the same category management to organize the products via brand. Also, we can identify products as featured and clearance the same way. And taxonomy categories aren't only for your store categories. We use the same system for other information such as blogs, news, galleries, and more.